Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're gonna to take a look at creating the Instagram Live Likes animation using CC Particle World and After Effects and tracking it into footage. Let's check it out. All right, to start off, we're gonna right click in the timeline and we're gonna create a new solid and we're gonna rename this particles and we'll go ahead and hit okay. So now in the effects and presets panel, I'm gonna search CC particle world and we'll double click this to add to our solid. And the first setting I'm gonna adjust in our CC particle world effect is the birth rate. We're gonna change this from 2.0 to about 0.1. And then next in the physics drop down, we're gonna adjust the gravity to a negative uh, value so that our particles are shooting upward. Then we'll adjust the animation from explosive to direction axis. And we're gonna adjust the resistance. We're gonna increase this a bit. This is going to slow down the animation. So we'll go about 22.1. And in the direction axis drop down, we're gonna adjust the axis Y. And we're just gonna move this until the particles are aimed towards the camera. So about there is good. And under our particle drop down, we're gonna change the particle type from line to textured quad polygon. Now I'll hop back into the project panel and I'm gonna drag in the image that I want to be my particle. So I'm gonna use this image of a heart and we're gonna go back to our particles layer. And under the texture dropdown, the texture layer, we're gonna change this from none to our PNG image. In my case, it's the heart. And we're gonna disable that layer and we can see our particles are now the little hearts. So I'm gonna change the initial rotation and the rotation speed to zero and I'm gonna increase the depth size as well as the size variation. And that completes the first half of this tutorial and that's just creating our particles, our Instagram likes animation using the CC particle world. Now we're gonna take a look at how to track this into footage. So now we're gonna drag our footage into the timeline and we're gonna right click on our footage and we're gonna choose track and stabilize and track camera. And so we're gonna let this run. It's gonna analyze the background, solve the camera. I'm gonna speed up this part of the tutorial a little bit. All right, and now that our camera is tracked, we're gonna go ahead and find an area in our scene that we can track. So I'm gonna do the mirror, we'll right click and choose create null and camera. I'm gonna right click on our null layer and I'm gonna rename this to controller one. This part of the tutorial does require a few expressions. So I have those expressions in the description. So feel free to copy and paste them. I'll go ahead and put them on screen as well. But we're gonna alt click under the producer drop down on the position X and we're going to copy the expression for position X. I've already typed this out with uh, the name of the layer being controller one that's gonna be controlling this. And so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna alt click on position Y. We're gonna highlight this and we'll copy and paste. Once you paste it, just click out of the, the text box. We're gonna all click on position Z and do the same thing. We're gonna copy this expression, control C, and we'll go ahead and paste it here. Click outside of the box. And so now we can see that our particles are now tracked to the area that we selected from our 3D track. So in this case, the mirror of this truck. And I'm gonna decrease the gravity even further. That way our 
particles can float a little bit higher. I'm going to speed up the, the particles as well by increasing the birth rate to about 0.2. And now that our animation is tracked to the footage, I'll increase the depth size and size variation of the particles just a little bit. So now to track another area of the truck, we're going to select the footage and we'll choose the 3D tracker in the effects panel. We'll find another area to track and right click and we're going to choose create null and we're going to rename this to controller 2 and we're going to duplicate our particles layer so i'm just going to select my particles hit command d or control d if you're using a windows computer and under our particles drop down we're going to choose effects cc particle world and then producer and we'll double click on the position X, Y, and Z. So right now we'll double click on position and we'll change it from controller one to controller two. So we're gonna do this for position X, Y, and Z. So just double click it, backspace one, and insert a two. And now our particles have adjusted to our second track point, controller two. And pretty much just follow those steps for any other particles that you want to track into the scene just create another controller update the expression name to reflect that so if you add a third controller controller three and your particles will track from that point as well and that's just about it if there is any other uh, particles that you want to track if you want say something other than a heart or whatever your first image was you can drag in another png image and select your particle layer. Make sure your PNG image is turned off, by the way. You'll go to the particle drop down under texture and choose your updated image. So it could be a logo, pretty much whatever image you want to, to flow as your particle. Just drag it into your footage, uh, change the texture layer to whatever image you're wanting to, to put in there as a particle, and it'll update in your particle animation. So that about does it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if there's any other tutorials like this you want me to make. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.